Good morning, ESM, and welcome back. I hope you guys had a great winter break. Speaking of break, today I'll be talking about Kwanzaa, which just recently ended last Saturday. More on that after news and announcements. Over a total of 1 million people have tested positive for COVID-19 in the U.S. The positive tests are most likely driven by the Omicron variant. People are most relying on the take-home test, so the new government record for cases could be a rough underestimate. Facebook and Twitter have both suspended Rep. Majority Taylor Green on claims of misinformation. This has reignited the controversy, in controversy involving far-right voices started with former President Trump. Supporters of Green says this ban is a form of censorship, while others say it is within the platform's legal right. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Due to a lack of snow, Ski Club has been postponed by one week. We will not be going to the mountain this week. Ski Club's first day will be next week, Wednesday, January 12th. Please email or see Ms. Pillowa in C12 with questions. All right. So Kwanzaa was a holiday created in 1966 by Dr. Molana Karinga, an American professor of Africana studies, activist, and author. The holiday itself is shaped after the celebration of harvest in which communities in Africa come together to celebrate their hard work, giving thanks for their good fortune, which is why it's called Kwanzaa in the first place. The Swahili word for first meant to signify the first harvest. Despite not living in the same agricultural settings, the holiday emphasizes that the same basic principles found in the production of harvest are vital to building and maintaining strong communities. I'll be talking about some of Kwanzaa's customs and how it's celebrated right after weather. Today we will have a high of 38 with mixed sun and clouds. Tomorrow we will have a high of 44 with most likely cloudy skies. Thursday we'll have some possible evening snow showers with a high of 36. Friday there's a chance of snow with, of a snow day with a one to four inches of snow. And I'm Maddie with your weather. Similar to Hanukkah, there is a candle lighting ceremony in which each candle represents the principles of the holiday. Unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. The seven candles are all in the colors of the Kwanzaa flag, and they are placed in the Kanara, a seven-pronged candle holder. On the evening of the 31st, the sixth day of Kwanzaa, a feast is held called Karamu. On this same day, Zawadi occurs, which is when gifts are opened by children, usually given by parents, to inspire creativity and education. I'll be, back, I'll be back to close the sh show right after sports. Last night, the girls' volleyball team beat Oneida 3-2. Leading the team last night in her varsity debut was Aku Kwani, who had 10 kills and one block. Additionally, Autumn Stoya had eight kills, six aces, and four blocks. Margaret Madding had eight kills. Morgan Ransom had 10 digs. And Emily Renane had 21 assists and five aces. Emotion was in the air last night in Heinz Field as what is most likely Ben, ben Roethlisberger's last game at home ended with a victory as the Steelers beat the Browns 26 to 14. Ben Roethlisberger had 24 completions for 123 yards and a touchdown on the night. The boys and girls bowling teams have a match today at home against Syracuse City at 3.30. Hockey team plays at home against Ontario Bay at 5.30. Girls volleyball plays at home against New Hartford at 6.30. Girls basketball plays at Fulham at 6.45. And boys basketball plays at home against Fulham at 6.45. And I'm Luke with your sports. There's plenty of other pieces to the Kwanzaa celebration which I couldn't fit into this time like the libation which begins the candle ceremony and the symbols which include crops and the candles themselves which I mentioned. But I hope you guys still manage to learn a bit more about Kwanzaa. So that's all I have for all today. So from everyone here at The Morning Show, have a terrific Tuesday and stay tuned for Wednesday's show. <laughs>